Hello and welcome to Kerbal Space Program Cool Things to Build. Yay! Today we are building, as you can see, the Space Shuttle. Yep. Isn't she beautiful? I know, I know that's what you're saying. Look. Isn't she a beauty? Today we're going to be building this. See, I'm going to cut to me, showing you how to build it, and then I'm going to do an attempted launch. It doesn't usually work, because this is mainly an aesthetic piece, not one that you can actually use to fly. But then again, if you do make something off of this that does actually fly, please show me it because I would be delighted to see that. All right. First thing you're going to want to do is get your Mark III cockpit. Just that one. And then you get the aerodynamic nose cone, the uh, one with the blue tip on it. And then you stick that on the front just to make it more aerodynamic. Then you're going to want to go into propulsion and you're going to want to get Mark III fuselage and you're going to want to put three of them in a row like that and that is the basis for the body of your aircraft. And most of the stuff I'm going to be doing now is in the aerodynamic tab. So what you do is you get you put on a symmetry mode get two of the wing connectors and put them on the sides of the shuttle like that. Then you get two structural wings and you put them in front but so that they connect with the wing connectors. And then you're going to get the delta wings, put them down and that is those are the wings of your aircraft right there. That's it from the front, from the top, there we go. That's the basis. Now you're going to do the top. And what you're going to want to do is turn off symmetry mode, get more of the one more of the wing connectors, put it on the top like that. Then you're going to want to get structural wings. Let's see. Actually, no, wait, no, no. I was wrong there. Delta wings. There we go. That's right. Delta, a delta wing on top. Forget all the structural wing stuff. That's the, it's the delta wing, and then that is that is your space shuttle there. Now you're gonna want to add on the bottom from utility. You're gonna want to add the uh, small gear bays, symmetry mode, and you're gonna want to put them on the bottom of the wings. Now it is a bit annoying to try and get them exactly right. So turn off angle snap, and that should be them there. Turn off symmetry mode. And put a put one at the front and right underneath the nose cone. I'm gonna to want to turn angle snap back on, and there we go. That is your aircraft right there. So now what you're gonna to want to do is add a way to steer it. So in the aerodynamic section, you're gonna to want to get standard control surfaces, dual symmetry mode, and you're gonna to want to stick them on the back of the wings, the delta wings, like that, and you're going to want to get two of the small control surfaces, and you should put them on the wing connectors, if I can get this right, no, there we go, and that is the way you're going to be able to go up and down with your space shuttle. So that is the basis. Now we're going to add the engines. So, yep, stay in aerodynamics. Dual symmetry mode still. Put down, I don't know what they're called, let's check. Two of the radial engine bodies. And then on the back of them, put two of the turbojet engines. Let's try on this side, there we go. And then you're going to want to put one in the back here, turn off symmetry mode, one in the back, because there's already fuel in the Mark III fuselage, so you don't need to add any fuel. So that's your basis, and just to get some air to this one, you're going to want to attach one or two of these uh, radial air intakes on the sides like that. So that's the engines and the up and down steering for your aircraft. Um, so that is that's basically I've caught up to where we were at the beginning, where I showed you the space shuttle. And now I'm going to cut to me adding some wings on to try and make it fly. All right. See you in one moment.
Hey, welcome back. Since you left, um, I have made a few slight improvements to it because what I've noticed is with this craft is it doesn't have enough lift in the basic form that I just showed you how to build. So I have constructed a slight variation on it. I've called it the porcupine and basically all I've added is two swept wings at the front. I'll move a bit closer back so you can see it. Uh, two Delta Deluxe Winglets and four Advanced uh, Canyards, I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. And um, yeah, you, I did have it where it had worked with one swept wing, but then I lost, I, I haven't been able to replicate that result. So this is it. I am going to launch it. I've had to specially, just for you guys, move the, uh, let the planet orbit for a while to, um, get it to the middle of the day because it was midnight before. So here we are. The sun's still rising. Um, so you just want to turn SAS on, thrust throttle up. What I've noticed is to keep it on course without it spinning out, you're going to want to have the, you're going to want to have it facing up the whole time. So you're going to want to have your back flaps facing up to keep it on course. Now it'll get quite a bit of speed up. Oh, my computer's running a bit slow right now, but um, you're gonna want to get a lot of speed up and keep your flaps up. And yeah, we should be good for launch unless it flies off course. Okay, we almost ready. Yeah, it should fly right off the, the end of the runway and then gain altitude. There we go. Perfect. That is exactly the result I wanted. So there we go. Now this is our space shuttle. Let's bring our gear up. There we go. And now we're we're pretty much about three kilometers away from four kilometers away from where we started almost. So yeah, this thing will go for quite a while. Uh, the electric charge doesn't run down. We have just enough intake fuel. We're losing it at a very slow rate. And the same with the liquid fuel. So you'll be able to go a very long time on this without it ever crashing. Now, I'm not the best at steering, so I'm not even going to try. I'm just going to end with some music and this flying off into the sunset. Sunrise, actually, sorry. Yeah, um, sunrise. Uh, flying off into the sunrise. Okay, that seems like a good enough end as any. So, again, thanks for watching. Uh, I, this has been Pyromaniac building this amazing, awesome craft for you. And, uh, yeah, like, comment, and please subscribe. Because, as I've said in one of my earlier videos, it does encourage me. And, yeah, so, we're about 13 kilometers away now. Yep, thanks for watching. Bye.